Hi, welcome to this week's Transformers review where we are looking at the Autobot Jet Metal Hawk. But before we get to Metal Hawk, let's do our shout outs of the week. First, we start out with Back to the Media at 48 South Loudon Street, uh, where you can get all your video game needs from the Atari all the way up to current systems. So definitely check them out. You can also get all other forms of media like DVDs and CDs and more. So definitely check them out. And uh, if you're looking for toys and collectibles, you can go to 115 South Loudon Street to Time Traveler's Toys and Collectibles. We get all kinds of Transformers and G.I. Joe and He-Man and She-Ra and Thundercats and the like. And uh, ironically, I bought this guy from Time Travelers. So go ahead and check them out. And once you leave there, you can go to 80 Weems Lane to get all your comic book needs from the Atari all the way up to current systems. So definitely check them out. And uh, once you leave there, if you're hungry for Jamaican food, you can go to... Uh, you can go over to Tro Tropical Islands or Piccadilly Street across the street from the Hanley Library. So definitely check Lloyd out for his uh, good Jamaican food and wonderful conversation and awesome reggae music in the background. So definitely check them out. And while you're in that neighborhood and you're looking for a bank, you can go to Bank of Clark or United Bank. Both of them are good banks. So definitely go ahead and check them out. And while you're in the area, and Cobra Island is a proud, proud supporter of mental health awareness. So you can check out Robert C. Brown at Healing Grace Counseling Service over on Bescowan Street, Suite Number 10. And uh, get some good old-fashioned counseling. And if Rob doesn't have what you're looking for, you can go out and check out... Uh, um, you can go and see uh, Northwestern Community Services and check them out and get everything you need there and uh if you're looking for insurance for your car truck boat motorcycle renters insurance homeowners insurance go out and check out go ahead and check out uh um state farm and like a good neighbor state farm is there and if you look being that you got your automobile uh insured go ahead and check out um, check out sheets and get your gas tank full as well as your belly with their made to order food so go ahead and check them out and if you got a tree stump you need removed or get your tree trimmed or just have that tree removed uh, in general check out Nipmex Tree Services so go ahead and check them out and uh, so let's go ahead and get the metal hawk we're going to start with his accessories starting with his sword you know, nice looking sword, nice little design, nice sculpting. And he's also got these two guns. You know, both of them when they're combined, they kind of they have a jet looking look to them. Whoa. So they're nice. Let me show you what they look like together. So here they are together, combined, have the nice little jet mode. It kind of looks like a jet, you know, when they're combined. But it's nice to have a good double barrel uh, gun with them. And they are, by these little tips here, they are blues, compa uh, blues compatible, as MGO 316 would say. And uh, so you could just attach any nice effects to them, and they actually have uh, are good for it. And so let's go ahead and look at our character of the week. Mr. Metalhawk with his blue, red, blue, red, and gray scheme with a little yellow in the undercarriage. As you see, robot kibble all over the place. But it's all pretty good. You know, this is a nice looking jet, nice streamlining jet. No articulation in jet mode, but it's still cool. I mean, except for the wings. But, uh... Well, it's still all really cool, but wings don't really move. Okay, I was wrong. Wings don't really move. So, let's go ahead and take a look at Metal Hawk in robot mode. So, here is Metal Hawk in complete in robot mode. You see the yellows and the 
blues and the reds and the silvers. Nice Autobot logo right here in the middle of the chest. Uh, he's got his little wings here in the back. But of course, with the articulation, his head can rotate. Get some up and down movement. You know, his arms can flex out like that. It can they can rotate the full 360. He does bend at the elbow. His wrist can move inward like this, mainly due to transformation. His legs are on ball joints. So they can go out about that far. Uh, they go out about that far. They come back about that far. He's got a knee bend. He does have thigh rotation right there at the thigh with the thigh cut where he can rotate. So you can get some pretty good poses out of this guy. You know, and uh, some really nice poses. And his ankles, his feet do move forward. Not really all the way back, but they get some good movement forward to it. So you can get some good poses out of them. So let's go ahead and take a look at him with his weapons. So here he is holding his weapons, which he does have, you can hold them in his hands, where he's got like ports right there on his, uh, on his upper arms to really hold them, or you could put them right there on his on his uh, wings right there on either side. And you could also store a sword there in the back. You know, so let's take a look at him with him stewing it on his arms and his back. Which here he is, which I think he looks good with his guns right there on his wingspans. Or you could have him right there on his uh, biceps. There's a sword attached to his back. You know, let me see. Let me show you what he looks like with the uh, guns on his on his biceps. So this is what he looks like with his guns on his biceps. You know, this gives new meaning to uh, huge guns. Talking about his uh, his arms, he's, he's got massive guns. <laughs> but uh, I don't know too much about this character of Metal Hawk. Um, I forget what series he was part of, which Transformer series he was part of. But I mean, he's still a good looking figure. I would rank him as a top tier, even though he does look very cartoonish. But, uh, you know, it's, that's really neither here nor there. But I think he's, I still think he's a good looking figure. He's got good jet mode. Um, the guns, I think, are a little wonky and a little cartoonish. Sword is kind of cartoonish, but you know, it still works out pretty good. He's a good character to have in your into your collection. Uh, I would highly suggest getting him. Uh, just to complete your Transformers collection or add to it, give the Autobots a little added air power, you know, to fight the Decepticons. You know, but uh, I would highly suggest getting him. But this is it for uh, Transformers in April. Starting next Sunday, we will be doing a three-month-long uh, three-combiner or four-month-long three-combiners Transformers combiners theme with uh, starting with the Constructicons, then the Combaticons, and then the Aerialbots, which will take about a two-week break, and then we'll do the Dinobot combiner. But uh, this has been... Metal Hawk for uh, Transformers, and now, but then uh, until R1, see you in the next one. Peace.